This is WJZ TV, Baltimore. In your community, where you live, now, it's WJZ, Maryland's news station. A medical breakthrough right here in Maryland. A young boy born with a rare condition gets groundbreaking surgery, the first of its kind in the U.S. Tonight, it's the amazing story of a miracle hand and a brand new life. Big day today, so I think we can get your splint off. Let's take a look. It's nothing short of a miracle for eight-year-old Lal Ding. Can you bend it down and bend it up? Lal has a genetic condition leaving him without a thumb, causing him to have a shortened forearm, leading his right hand to curve sharply toward his little wrist. Tell me about what happened when you first met him. He had already had a surgery to reposition his index finger to the thumb position, and the parents wanted to know if there was anything we could do to straighten the hand and allow him to continue to grow. Dr. Ryan Katz and a team of doctors at the Curtis National Hand Center at Union Memorial discovered an innovative procedure that takes a bone, joint, and growth plate from Lau's foot and builds a functioning hand and arm. This surgery has never been done before in the U.S. What's very unique about this surgery is that it uses his toe to recreate a full length radius. The microsurgeon and architect of the groundbreaking technique flies from Finland to Baltimore to consult during this unprecedented eight hour surgery. What we want to do is raise the toe without injuring any of the other toes while preserving its blood supply and preserving its growth plates. And through a lengthy surgery, the toe comes up, it gets transferred to the forearm and we fuse the bones together, release the clamps, you see the skin pinks up and it's alive again and it will be alive forever. And that's what allows it to heal and that's what allows it to grow. This is what Lau's hand looks like now. So they want you to like pick stuff up like this, like your pincher fingers? Yeah, and they want, they want my hand to go like tight and make a fist. Lau now goes to physical therapy every week, learning how to use his wrist and fingers. Okay, the pink okay. ones are so hard to do it. On a personal note, what would you like to see him be able to do in his lifetime? I would love if his hand no longer draws unwanted attention and he can integrate well in class and society without unwanted stares. I hope that with an improved hand posture and overall hand dexterity, he can do anything he wants to do. <laughs> Dr. Katz says that after successfully performing this surgery, they hope to help many others like Lau. And he says what's most important is just that people know that this is right here in Baltimore. Wow. And we have access to this And had never been technology. done before. No, not here in the U.S. So, so cool to take a toe from a little foot. I know. And, and then, a, you know. Will his foot be okay, though? Yes. He's wow. totally fine. And he's such a cool kid. He was he's cute. a really cool little guy. Really incredible story. All right. Still to come tonight on WJ.